The Marvels is the newest entry in the MCU that has a lot of people in a mess. The reception has been awful, the box office proves a point for the genre as a whole. It, it's been a mess. But how's the film itself? Uh, not good. Not good at all. Um, let's, let's just get into it. I was about to write what this movie was about, but I have the rare disadvantage because even after watching it, I still have no idea what it was actually about. The most I could figure out is there was a villain and they want to destroy things, so Ms. Marvel, Carol, and Monica try and stop her. Pretty simple Marvel fare if you ask me, which isn't necessarily a dig at these types of movies. I've enjoyed movies like this in the past that are simple, especially in the MCU. As negative as I sound on this, I do have a couple things that work. Kamala Khan is much better here than her own show, which is weird to say, but it's true. She understands the tone perfectly, but I think what helps is Aman Vellani being a comic book nerd before signing on to play Kamala, meaning she is like a kid in a toy store practically. The film is also paced in this quick and easy way which made the film feel shorter than it actually is. And that's where the positives end. To start with, Brie Larson. <laughs> what is she doing here? You would think that she would listen to a negative criticism that came from Captain Marvel and do something completely different here, but somehow she does exactly the same thing. It feels like she walked on the wrong set for practically the whole film. It, it's just awkward. The film having a plank of wood as its selling point proves a point about these movies as a whole. At least now. Most people will easily pin the blame on Nia da Costa, when I personally don't think it's her fault. She even said in a Vanity Fair article that this wasn't her movie, but rather Kevin Feige's, and that we as the audience should expect that. It's interesting. I mean, I think there's just a lot of energy and criticism around Marvel anyway, so I'm not surprised. But um, but for me personally, it was literally just that they moved the date of the film four different times. And so instead of it being a two-year process, which I was deeply <laughs> committed to, it became a three-and-a-half-year process. So every time the date moved, and they knew the entire time that I had a, an obligation, a greenlit movie with people who were waiting for me, and I pushed that, and I pushed it again, and then I pushed it again, and then eventually, we all knew, like, okay, if this pushes again, I'm not going to be able to be in LA uh, to do the rest of this. That kind of sums up the problem with these movies as a whole, doesn't it? Hiring these amazing directors only for their visions to get diluted by this guy? Anyway, let's talk about the villain. Wh what was her point? A lot of the villains in the recent MCU films have just been extreme throwaways with the exception of Thanos, who was the big bad of the entire universe, I guess. I don't even remember her name. She was just such a pointless villain who had no real purpose other than an excuse for the film exist, which it shouldn't. There were a lot of things that make this a mess, but the biggest by far is the structure, or lack thereof. It feels like they were completely winging it in the editing room, not knowing where to cut, what to cut, or even how to pace it. As I said, it flies by because of the pace, but that doesn't exactly mean that the pacing was done correctly, like with previous MCU films like Civil War or even Endgame. I'm not a fan of Endgame at all, but one thing I can give it credit for is how large it feels, and part of that is down to the pacing. It gives us time to breathe as it's three hours long and has a lot to say, this says nothing. Bear in mind that this is just over 90 minutes so comparing it to a 3 hour film doesn't work, but there are movies that do so much more with 90 minutes than this does. All down to pacing. It starts with an action sequence, moves to another action sequence, and doesn't stop, and it gets boring after a while. I feel that those with short attention spans will get a lot from it, but for those who want a bit more than just flashy stuff, you'll be let down. Last thing, the CGI. What the hell? No one looks like they were in the same room. The action sequences look like they were the worst thing from 2006. It's just horrendous. It's funny considering this cost nearly 300 million dollars. CGI could take you out of a movie if done wrong, and this does just that. So yeah, those are my thoughts on the Marvels. Uh, pretty... <laughs> pretty quick. It's not the worst thing in the world, it's definitely not the worst Marvel movie of the year, but it's just lazy. So yeah, that's my thoughts on the Marvels. Let me know guys what you think of it, and I will see you guys soon, hopefully. Um, I, um, uh...